Ping pong used to give people cancer. Yeah, back in the 1970s, there was a Hungarian athlete named Tibor Klampar. He was at this major table tennis tournament, and just before the tournament started, he looked down at his paddle and realized that there was a tear in the rubber. So he used bicycle puncture repair glue in order to repair his paddle just before the start of the tournament. Well, then when he went out to play, he noticed that every time he hit the ball, it was coming off faster. It had more spin. There was this high-pitched noise every time the ball would impact the paddle. Well, he wasn't the only one that noticed. There was another athlete named Drakitin Serbek of Yugoslavia. He noticed the impact the glue was having on the way that Clampar was playing. And so then he went home and started experimenting with different types of glue, which he called speed glue. Now, speed glue, or what it was, was a glue that contains the substance called VOCs, or volatile organic compounds. What happened was when you put this glue on the paddle in between the wood and the sponge-like material, it would then soften and expand. And when it expanded, it would then tighten the rubber that sits on top of it, and it would make it have a lot more tension, kind of like a catapult every time the ball would contact it. So it was making it faster and it was making it have more spin. So he started using this between 1979 and 1983 and people started to take notice. Soon, almost all professional table tennis players were using this substance. Well, the problem was it only lasted about four hours and then it had to be reapplied. So people were using a lot of this glue. It was selling like crazy, but also people were exposed to a lot of it. They had to reapply quite frequently. Well, then people started experiencing headaches, dizziness, fatigue, and a lot of other health issues when they were exposed to the fumes of this glue. Then they realized that that substance that made it so effective, the VOCs, were really harmful to the environment and caused cancer. So then the International Table Tennis Federation, or the ITTF, began taking steps to regulate the use of the speed glue in the late 1990s. They started to impose limits on the amount of VOCs that could be used in the glue, but they didn't completely ban it. And most people found ways to get around this within the limits. Then in 2004, the ITTF issued a statement that they eventually would completely ban it, but they didn't really give a date. Then in 2007, something happened. Croatian table tennis coach Marko Amizic, who's known for using a lot of this glue, passed away. Now, although his death wasn't completely attributed to the use of the speed glue, it started to raise concerns of the long-term health effects of exposure to this substance. What it also did, it added a sense of urgency to the debate on banning the substance. So then in September 2008, less than a year later, the ITTF issued a complete ban on the use of speed glue just prior to the 2008 Beijing Olympics. But what do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you like this, I have a whole series on banned techniques you can go check out. Thanks for watching.